I'm not here to be liked, I'm here to expose all the facts. I'm here to fight for my right to be able to ignore hey, trash. Hey, you doing, you inside the system. I'm a hammer hitting glass. Uh, this is Justin Nairi. Uh, welcome back to Catch Me If You Can. Today is lesson number one on how to live on the run. If you're not a subscriber, you probably are have a warrant or on the run from the law in some ways to take away, and you don't want to go to prison or jail. Uh, the first thing you have to do is not return to your house. Number two, you got to leave the state. That leaves the question, where are you going to go? My suggestion is go somewhere warm. I say this because if you have no help or no money and no place to sleep indoors, you won't dive over exposure. My next suggestion is go to a large city. There's more opportunities in a large city for shelter, food, and jobs. There's more crime, so that means you'll be farther off the radar as long as you stay out of the way. Uh, big city is just better all the way around at all times. If you have someone solid you can rely on in a place similar to what I'm describing, even better. Now before you leave the state, have your friends or family drive your car to a dealership, meet them there, and off your car for as much as you can get for it. You can have some of your friends or family uh, go to your house and collect some small possessions that might be worth some money, like some old cell phones, jewelry, small things that you can pack that you can take on your way that might be worth something. But we'll talk about that another time. Uh, also have them grab some clothes, toiletries, pack light. I usually carry and travel with a duffel bag and a book bag. The rest of your possessions, schedule uh, for something like an auction house to sell your stuff. Uh, see if you can have your friends or family could also handle that. If you don't have anybody to do any of this stuff, forget your possessions. Your freedom's worth more than anything. You could always get more stuff. The next thing you have to decide is how you're going to get out of your state. I've taken many buses on, on the run before. They're noisy, old, long, layovers and constantly breaking down. A two day scheduled trip can easily turn into a four to five day trip. Living off a bus can get uncomfortable and more expensive than you think. Sex second option for travel is a train. This isn't no plane, but it usually is faster than the fuckery of a bus. The train provides less stops, less time, less chances of breaking down. To make your trips less expensive, always pack your food. Uh, it gets very, very expensive to eat when you're traveling on a train, a bus, a uh, plane doesn't take long, so... But let's decide on the level of charges that you have. If you have something such as uh, murder or any high felonious charges, uh, you can't take a plane. Uh, and even with misdemeanors like I do, the last place you want to be is an airport. Uh, I took a train and a bus to get from Florida to my destination only because more security means more tyrants. You never know who you're going to run into in one of them places that just want to run your idea or cause your problems. A bus or a train gives you time to relax your brain and gives you time to figure some things out and brainstorm. Most likely at first you will be stuck in a flight or flight and that's not good. If you don't calm down, you will make mistakes. So slow down, calm down, and think clearly. And you can no longer drive, period. I know I drive motorcycles, but I ain't stopping for cops. And a cars, they're just gonna kill you in it or try to flip you over. And a bike, you have more chances of getting away. They're faster than a car. And the, it looks bad on them if they're trying to take you out for something small. If you have no money, no one to help you, I would suggest hitchhiking. This is the most riskiest of all the choices. One, because it's illegal. And if a cop sees you, uh, you are breaking the law and he's gonna at least run your name. And then you're gonna be sitting in a cell. Two, is because you could also run into a serial killer and that's without explanation. Now, if I were to hitchhike, I'd go to a truck stop and barter in some way. Maybe clean their truck or trade something. Uh, as long as you have shown them that you're willing to offer them something and no and not your ass. They might offer you a ride for free as long as they see that you uh, got a good boo-hoo story and you're willing to give something at least and you're just not trying to bum a ride. This shit's more crammed than fucking Pittsburgh. This is by far. The most crammed place I've ever seen.
pretty cool actually. I don't want to live here. Alright, so this is all the time that I have for you today. Once again, catch me if you can.